What is going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create symmetry in your photos using Photoshop. Let's get into the video. So if you are new here, my name is Jacob Scott and I make filmmaking and photography videos like this one pretty much every single week. So if you're interested in that, be sure to go down below and hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification to be notified when I drop new videos like this. Now, as for going into this uh, bit of editing, I would not suggest, you know, relying on this, but if you got hard drives full of some photos that you weren't really fond of, it's a good way to really just turn an average photo into a really good photo. So this was what it would look like starting with, and this would look like a finished product. So without any further ado, let's jump into Photoshop and show you how to do this one really quick. It's probably gonna be a pretty quick one, and it's actually pretty easy to do. All right, so this here is super easy to do. The first thing that you're gonna have to do is select your photo and hit Control J. Now, what that does is just duplicates a photo. So now we have two versions of the photo here, both exactly the same. On our top one here, what we're gonna wanna do is go ahead with it selected, go up to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal. That's of course gonna do exactly what it sounds like. It just flipped it the other way jumping out of photoshop really quick something to mention and a quick little tip you're not going to want to do this on all your photos you're going to want to do it on photos that mainly have a center subject right centered in the frame that way you have something to sort of hide the scene behind because otherwise it's sort of going to create this weird mirror effect and it's going to be pretty obvious that you did go ahead and just duplicate the one side so keep that in mind when using this little sort of effect back into photoshop now we're gonna keep that layer turned on. And then with that top layer still selected, we're gonna go down here and hit add mask. And with the mask selected, hit control I. If you notice that mask just went from white to black, if I hit it again, we need it to be black. So essentially that mask means it's completely see-through. We can't see this top layer at all. Now what we are gonna to wanna to do is I want to have this side over here with the water, the nice trees. As you can see, this side sort of kind of offsets that. Doesn't look that good, not to mention there's some wires up here that I don't want either. So with our brush selected and our mask selected, we need to make sure we have a white brush. We can just go ahead and start painting in the other side. So all I'm doing is painting in that photo that we flipped. And if you need to erase something, just hit X. It will change to a black brush and you can go ahead and just color that out. And if you notice down here, our mask layer now shows some white in it. That is what we have painted in. So if I go ahead and turn off our bottom layer, you can see all that we've painted in over that photo. And just like that, in a matter of seconds, completely transformed the look of this photo. Now, I'd probably take a little bit more time on it. I wouldn't actually, probably I definitely would to go ahead clean up a little bit of the edges here. But overall, as you can see, a really quick way to completely transform the look of your photos. But that is pretty much it for this one. Hope you really did enjoy it. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And keep in mind too, this effect, not something you're probably gonna wanna use on all your photos because it's just kinda get repetitive. But for some photos, especially I've noticed some of mine that I have sort of back in backlogs, it really just turns some boring photos into some pretty decent ones. So. With all this time we have on our hands right now with COVID-19, COVID-19, you suck. Go to your backlogs, see maybe if there's some photos in there that you can go ahead and do this to. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Huge thanks to everyone that did subscribe to the channel because I just passed 1,500 subscribers. But that's pretty much it for this one. I'll see you.